We are now standing on the BKE in my school. This is actually the fire engine access route. So this road separates the rainforest and the wetland in front of me. So in order to create greater ecological connectivity, we are working on these two grass patch to bring the biodiversity closer to each other. So in, uh, in front of me, you can see uh, this patch of grassland. Uh, we call this the next eco-habitat, which is the wildflower meadows. This area was a uh, flat grass patch, but during the school closure this year, because of COVID-19, we started to see um, wildflowers springing up from this grass patch. So this area actually gives a different kind of uh, greenery to the school. And we decided that after we come back from uh, the school closure, that we keep this area free from any grass cutting activity. So this grass patch in front of me will be free from grass cutting so that we can allow the, the wildflowers to grow and for the students to go into this area and pick up the different kinds of uh, wildflowers that we can find in Singapore. Con in contrast, this grass patch behind me is actually being trimmed uh, after um, phase one started and grass cutting activity, activity started as well. So we want to make uh, a comparison between the biodiversity over here and also uh, in front of me. So um, this is pretty much a eco habitat that doesn't need much maintenance because we are allowing uh, spontaneous um, growth of the wildflowers to happen. So it's really hard to keep grass patch uncut nowadays. So we hope that this area will be maintained so that uh, to be maintained well so that we can get to um, have a stronger case to get other patches of grass patch in the school to be free from grass cutting. And uh, just behind you, you can also see um, piles of dry leaves. These are leaves being swept by the cleaners all around the school. And we ask them to, to put the dry leaves over here so that this creates a nutrient cycle for the nutrients to go back to the soil for the plants over here. So that is another uh, point that we teach the students about the cycling of nutrients and uh, the importance of soil health.